All right, very well done, Math 121 students. So uh, you've uh, emailed response, you've watched the homepage, gotten used to our homepage, went through the getting started module, and now you're sitting here at the practice assignment. So let me go ahead and walk you through that. So without uh, any further ado, let me share my screen. And again, there is our homepage of our course. Let me go ahead and press modules and go directly to the page. So you've done the orientation, you've done the basics, you've learned how to do assignments, right? You've gotten some feedback, right? And now it's time to do the practice assignment. So here's the page that you're on and the video you're watching. Uh, my goal here is to basically walk you through and show you how to upload files from Canvas, uh, give you some suggestions on how to complete the files, how to convert the files, right, to JPEGs, PDFs, or PNGs, and then how to upload those files into Canvas home and to Canvas so that they go into the speed grader and then I can grade them, all right? So here's basically what you're going to do. To upload anything in Canvas, there's basically uh, anything that's uploadable, if you would, is in a nice greenish blue color with an arrow right here, as you see. So when I press that arrow down, right, what it's gonna do is upload the uh, item. Uh, for my computer, it shows up over here. When I press that, Right, here's the first page of your practice canvas quiz, if you would, or practice assignment. Again, the intent isn't here to be hard, right? It's just to get you used to uploading things and working on them. So there's basically three questions on that. Uh, to upload the second page, right? Same process, you uh, hit the arrow down button, let the computer upload it, right? And there it is. So there's two, there's only two questions on this one. Uh, um, you know, uh, number four and number five. So again, not intended to be hard. Uh, it's basically to just get you to practice. Okay, so that's basically how you upload it. All right, so that's the first one. Second one, how do you complete these files? Well, a lot of that depends on what kind of technology that you currently have. <clears throat> Excuse me, many of you probably have a printer. So if you do, I would suggest that you actually print these out right? And then you can basically take out your pencil and start working on them, right? Um, so that's one way to do that. Uh, second way is some of you actually probably don't have a uh, uh, have the technology where maybe you're on an iPad um, or some sort of Surface Pro where you can basically just upload the file into that, uh, an application, and then you can use your, uh, you know, your little stylus pen or whatever, and you can literally write on, on it on your technology upload and save the file on your computer and then that you're ready to go that way um, some of you might not have any of that nice technology at all and you're just gonna have to go old school and take out a paper right and a pencil and what i would ask you to do is to write down what you kind of see on the notes and then complete your notes and your assignment that way all right so uh if there's another way to do it i guess there could be but either you're either printing the pages out and doing them with a paper pencil Right, you have the technology that allows you to upload the PDF file and use your stylus pen to complete things uh, by hand, or you're just going to have to do everything by hand, all right, um, and upload uh, things like that, all right. So that takes us through how you're going to complete the file. So pick your avenue, um, you know, maybe you know uh, whatever you need to do to get that done. Next, right, how do you convert the files? All right, well, this depends on what you do. Like for example, for those who already have the technology where you're doing this on an iPad or a Surface Pro, I know it actually allows you to save, right, the file. I, you know, as a PDF is what I typically go through, but you you know, you might have the options to save it as a JPEG or a ping. I truly believe PDF is the way to go, all right? <clears throat> if you don't have that technology, if you printed these out or you've done things by hand, the next thing I suggest you do is you break out uh, some sort of uh, camera. Right now, what I personally use is I use my phone, my cell phone. Um, I personally use Cam Scanner. Um, it does cost. Um, I've, I, for me, it's beneficial because I do so much uh, file conversions for a lot of my classes. So it's worth for me to do that. But there's a lot of other free applications uh, that you can find in Play Stores and whatnot that will allow you basically to snap pictures with your cell phone. And then you can basically use your cell phone to save the file as a PDF, a JPEG, or a ping, all right? So use whatever you want to do there. So either you have the technology that just does it for you. Um, heck, some of you might even have a printer that will scan 
right? And you can scan it as a PDF or you go with the technology that you have and break out your uh, your cell phone and open an app like Cam Scanner, right? To basically help do the conversions for you, okay? What I also like about my Cam Scanner is I can actually, like right now this assignment is two pages, uh, but I can actually, as I take pictures of each page, I can actually be, uh, each page goes into the same file. So I, I have the ability with my cam scanner to create one file with multiple pages in it. All right. Uh, in this case, there's only two, but that's, you know, what we have. All right. So that is how you convert. How to upload, right? When you're ready to upload your assignment, what you're going to do is go up to the start assignment at the top. When you press that button, what will open up towards the bottom is a place where you can uh, upload the files that you took, the pictures that you took. All right. Um, there's the file upload. Some of you might actually have it saved on a Google Drive. Some of you might actually have saved it on your Canvas Studio. So you can use those links. But old school wise, you're going to upload the file. So how you do that is you basically go to the button that says upload file. You press it. What it'll do is it'll say choose file. And then what you're going to basically do is go to your computer. Um, on my desktop, I have a summer 2024 file. And there's my practice Canvas 1. I'll double click on it, and it's now uploaded, right? Uh, now, again, for me, right, I have the ability to use one file and show multiple pages of that file. If you don't have that, just go to another, add another file, and you can upload that file. You choose a file again, right? And there's your practice Canvas 2. All right. And just to show that again, um, if you have a third page, right, you can just press add another file, up, upload it, choose the file. And in this case, there's my practice canvas three. So at this stage of the game, I've uh, submitted or I have three pages right, of the assignment. You guys only have two. All right. So you just press submit assignment. And what will slowly happen once it gets submitted and up, uh, officially uploaded in canvas, You'll get a nice little confetti screen, all right? <clears throat> and if uh, new att if attempts are allowed, like for example, your this one you have unlimited attempts because you're practicing. Your notes you have three attempts. Unfortunately, for your section and quiz and homeworks, you only have one attempt, so you're not going to see this button that says new attempt. Um, so just be aware of that. You can kind of see what you uploaded and downloaded and any comments that were made, all right? But if you wanted to see the submission details, you can press that. <clears throat> There's basically the pages that you uploaded. You can add a comment, right? Hey, Frank, I did it, right? And you can save it. <clears throat> and then what will happen on my end is I'll be able to look at that. Uh, I'll be able to see your uploaded assignment in can the Canvas uh, speed grader. I can see your comment. And then I'll start adding comments, especially, like I said, if I start taking things that are uh, wrong start taking a points way, I'll add that to there. Okay, so that, let me go back to our modules. Let me go back to the practice assignment, right? So that pretty much tells you how to do the assignment. One last thing, to successfully complete this assignment, right? I know there's only two pages and not a lot of work to show, but fight the urge to squeeze it all into one page, right? Because if you do that, I'm gonna give you a zero. Right. The intent of this is to practice turning multiple pages at once. And I'm just trying to do it where it's not overly overwhelming. But later on, when you start doing your review test, uh, when you start doing the, uh, the guided notes, sometimes there's going to be seven or eight pages long. So you're going to want to you, you can't squeeze everything into one page because a it's almost physically impossible. And B, I can't read it. So it's not going to be legible and I'll start taking points away. So please, please, please practice doing the assignment as I've suggested, right? Either do each page separately, upload it like I showed you, or have the technology where you can create one file with multiple pages in it, right? And that way you turn in multiple pages that way, all right? So if you have questions, please email me. Other than that, get your practice assignment done so we know that you can upload and convert and uh, download all kinds of things into Canvas and you're ready to go, all right? So I'll see you in some videos uh, coming soon. Talk to you later.